I use solar power to uh, bolster the amount of energy uh, that my Arga has. On this side of the Arga, you've got the electronics that, that deal with Economy 7. And we keep that on uh, because uh, that's where the bulk of the energy comes from. But I have scarfed in here, this is a feed from the solar panels. And that solar panel feed feeds into the main distribution block for the uh, Arga. This comes from the, uh, the, the main circuitry. And these two wires are the main feeds into the buzz bar inside the Arga. And this simply connects into that block. So at the moment, you've actually got a feed going in from the solar array that's out in the garden. Uh, and what that does, it effectively means that you're going to be using less paid power. Uh, this circuit board, uh, Arga charged something like six or seven hundred pounds to for a new one of these. Uh, this is the original that's been in there for nine years, but I have had it refurbished from a, uh, a company whose link I'll put on the website for your interest. Um, it costs about £250 to have them refurbished and there have been no ill effects whatsoever from using um, the solar power. That feeds one side during the night time and that feeds the other side during the daytime uh, and all is good. Okay, this is the solar switch that takes the power from the solar array and diverts it into the Arga. Uh, the little uh, display I'm holding just shows how many kilowatts we've had this morning. It's quite cloudy, so there's not very many. What this display is showing is the amount of energy that's gone into the Arga this morning that's surplus to the household requirements. The switch works out how much power the house is using, and if there's a surplus, sticks it in the Arga. So it's like a thermal battery. The actual switch itself uh, comes as a kit form. It's purpose designed for a six kilowatt system, not the normal three that you can buy. You can buy these switches off the web. You know, there are many, many different versions, but they're all basically designed for three kilowatt immersion heaters. Because the Arga is six kilowatts, I had to have this one specially made. And actually, it was considerably cheaper than the ones that you can buy for three kilowatts. And again, this is the solar array. It's about 40 feet long and about 20 feet high. It's made up of 16 solar panels arranged in two banks of eight. They move in two, two axes. You can see there one of the actuators and that is controlled by the sensor uh, on top of the array. Uh, the sensor is all uh, Yankee electronics and the actuators are, I think I bought them off eBay and they're uh, standard Chinese. The array itself um, is about six tons in weight, built with scaffolding and scaffolding shackles and the like and it's underpinned by, you can't see them but there's a patch of grass, it's underpinned by uh, huge four foot deep uh, reinforced and stressed concrete foundations. Uh, in terms of the calcs that I did, it's probably got a redundancy of 400% in terms of wind speed. Um, so there'd have to be a wind currently in excess of 200 miles an hour for that to come anywhere near failing, uh, which is not going to happen. So I could double its height again if I wanted to, but I can't be bothered because it's efficient enough now. And that's the array, four kilowatts.